I'm RJ Nestor, a productivity coach and a bit of a Rome research expert here. So I wanted to talk those of you uh, who have used smart blocks uh, in the past, how to convert to the Rome Depot version of that. Even if you haven't used smart blocks in the past, uh, the second part of this video will be, will be helpful for you. But if you have, you actually have to undo um, having the original version of smart blocks installed. You have to remove the Rome JS extension that's in your graph so that you can then install the Rome Depot version. Here's how that works. So you'll see I have this, This uh, you'll probably see this at some point as well in your graph, this little note that says that the Rome JS extension, smart blocks can now be found in the Rome Depot. I, I anticipate just the way this is phrased, we'll probably encounter this as other extensions are found in Rome Depot as well. Um, it says remove the Rome JS code, and it has a couple curly braces and brackets here that install this extension and refresh before installing Rome Depot or from Rome Depot rather. So we're going to do that. The page I want you to go to is to the Rome forward slash JS page. Now, why are we going to the Rome forward slash JS page? We are doing that because even if you installed SmartBlocks uh, code somewhere else in your graph, you'll find it in the linked references. You may have put it on this page. You may have put it somewhere else. Somewhere else, as you can see, I installed it on a page called SmartBlocks. That's why it says SmartBlocks down here. But the code references Rome JS, as you can see, and that's why it's going to show up in the linked references. So it'll either be on the page here, depending where you put it, or it will be in the linked references. Um, that, that doesn't matter where you put it, it'll be down there. So you'll note here is the code. I open that up. This is the smart blocks code that was running. All you have to do is click stop this. So we now have stopped the smart block code uh, from running in the graph. We'll need to refresh the graph and I'll do that right now. That'll take just a second here. I'll do a force reload. I don't know if it needs to be force reload or just reload, but we'll do force reload. Um, and so now that'll clear that out. Um, if you have Rome 42 installed, you'll want to do the same with Rome 42 because it contains smart blocks with it. Um, that I'm sure is changing. And I know Rome 42 is also moving to the depot soon. Uh, so if you've grown very accustomed to Rome 42, that it won't be much of a wait to, uh, to get that back. Uh, in your graph through Rome Depot. Uh, but now that you've done that, you'll want to probably make sure that you're up to date. Um, we'll check for updates here. We are up to date. Um, when you do that, if you go to the left sidebar, you'll see Rome Depot uh, in the fourth slot here. That's in a new place. So when you click on that, now you can see the very top extension here is SmartBlocks. It's been installed as of right now 1,474 times. If it weren't, if some, by some chance some others come along that are installed more, you can search here and by searching it will narrow it down. Click on SmartBlocks, click Install, and now it's installed. And SmartBlocks will function otherwise than the way that it has before. Uh, do note that if you've been using J or excuse me XX as your version for how to run it, that's the original way that uh, SmartBlocks version two was was fired. Um, it does it is setting it back to JJ, but you will be able if you want to change that. There will be some settings uh, that you can find. You could always change it back to XX. I'm not going to go into that now. I don't want to go into the detail, um, but that's how you install it in there. So close it out or, or stop it on the Rome JS page reload the graph, do the same if you have uh, Rome 42 installed, and then you can go to Rome Depot, install SmartBlocks, and any SmartBlocks that you have in the system um, should function the same then as they did previously. I actually, this is a, from a couple of my cohorts ago, so actually, no, it's cohort four. So I do have a SmartBlock, and yes, you can see it is rendering with the, the picture, uh, which means that it is installed correctly from Rome Depot. So everything should function, buttons should function, um, everything should, should work from that. If you're having issues uh, with it, uh, I'm at RJ Nestor on Twitter. You can, you can, in, you can reach out to me there, um, either via DM or just, or just include me in a, in, in a tweet and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll answer you and we can figure out what's going on. Otherwise, uh, this should solve the problem for you. And so have, have a good time with your, with your smart blocking from the Rome Depot.